Hello students, my name is Siddharth and today we are going to study gravitation. Well, I'm pretty sure that you are aware of gravitation a little bit because it is a very general phenomenon, I would say. You experience it in your daily life. You had always seen that whenever any object is released from a certain height, it always goes down towards Earth. It never goes up or in any other direction, right? So let's start with a very basic example. Let's say this is the surface of our Earth and uh, there is a ball of certain mass M kept at a height H. Now, as soon as we are going to release this ball, what will happen? Yes, it will start moving down. But from first law of motion, from first law of motion, we know that every object that is in rest, it always try to remain at rest until unless any external force is not applied on it, right? So what is happening to this ball? It is started to moving down. It means that there is an external force which is attracting this ball towards Earth, right? So this external force is nothing else. It is the gravitational force. So gravitational force is an external force which is attracting this ball towards Earth, right? And we can also observe that this force is always attracting this ball towards Earth. It is never going to repel it or this ball is not going in any other direction. So it also says that this force is attractive in nature or we can say this is an attractive force, right? Now, first of all, Sir Isaac Newton, Mr. Newton defines this gravitational force. And what he says, he says that gravitational force is a force due to which every object in this world, whether it is planets, it is we human beings or any other object that has mass is going to attract each other, right? So let's understand this definition. Suppose we have two bodies, one with mass m1 and second body with the mass m2. And both of these bodies are kept at a distance of r from each other. Okay. So Newton said that both of these bodies are going to experience a force toward each other. And the magnitude of this force is equal for both the bodies. That means the force that body one is experiencing is equal to the force that body two is experiencing. And he said that this force is gravitational force. And he also gives some relations for these forces. First relation is he said that force is directly proportional to the product of masses of these two bodies. Right? And the second relation he gives is this force is inversely proportional to the square of the distance between these two bodies. Both of these relations are very important because when we combine both of these relations, we will get an equation. It is force is directly proportional to m1, m2 by r square. And when we are going to release this proportionality sign, we will get the equation F is equal to G into M1 M2 by R square. Now, what is this G? We know that whenever the proportionality sign is removed, then there must come a constant. So this is a constant which is called universal gravitational constant. And since it is a constant, so its value is predefined. And it is 6.673 into 10 to the power minus 11. Now look, if we want to calculate the SI unit for G, we must know that the SI unit for force is Newton. And the SI unit for mass is kg. So here it will come kg square. And here it will come meter square since it is a distance. So the SI unit for G is Newton meter square per kg square right so this equation uh, let me this equation f is equals to g 
m1 m2 by r square this is nothing else this is the universal law of gravitation and it is given by sir isaac newton now you must be wondering if both the bodies are experiencing the same force then why is the ball going down to earth why is it not that the earth is coming up to the ball right so its answer lies in the second law of motion second law said that force is equals to mass into acceleration right if force is constant it means that both the bodies are experiencing the same force then mass is inversely proportional to acceleration isn't it and if we compare the mass of earth and the ball then we know that mass of earth is very 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 large as compared to mass of the ball so acceleration for earth is negligible as compared to the acceleration of ball so we see every time the ball comes to the earth the earth never goes up to the ball right this is the reason because the acceleration of earth is negligible as compared to the acceleration of ball so students i believe that you understood the basic concept of gravitation today we will meet in the next class see you then take care